Hiding half of the city near the sea and is called the sun deck of the Baltic Sea. In front of the harbor stretches a lagoon. There is a bridge to the island of Fema, within short from there you can continue to Denmark and Sweden. Heiligenhafen has many historical buildings and seafood is a must. Five stars for the highest demands. The marina is modern, service oriented and with its unbeatable location one of the most beautiful yacht harbors at the Baltic Sea. That's the Marina Heiligenhafen. The Wilson X is a XP33 from Denmark. She's almost 10 meter long and has a 17 meter high mast. She's considered as a performance cruiser and was nominated to be the European Yacht of the Year for 2014. In regatta mode, the Wilson X sails with seven persons Zur and four deck mast, Catherine, Pitt, Ole, Trimmer, Tobias, Trimmer. Sven Hemsman, Jeppe Navigation and Tactics, Sven Mainsail and Skipper. The language on board has to be English. On land everyone may speak what they want. Post du it? Trilingual talks are sometimes possible. The weather conditions are analyzed directly after breakfast. The more wind, the faster the boat. Logical. Just before a race it is important to clean the hull. You need a shipyard where there is a crane in order to lift the boat out of the water. The ship slows down when the hull is spotted with shells and silt. The entire action takes usually well above an hour. So everything clean and now back into the wet element. You made it well. On and under deck is always a lot to do. Clear the decks will be the slogan among sailors. The winches, the runners and the pots must be checked before each race. There might be a wooling, an implication in the rigging or a hell yard has to be patched. There's no way. Someone has to climb into the mast. It is to be a speciality. Legions of viewers watch how the strong wind moves like Tobias and the Mars back and forth. From the top, he made also some photos of the marina and the ship's deck. Finally, the crew could discuss whether everything had been worked out properly. Now we come to the heart of the matter. Still 1 minute and 30 seconds and the countdown can begin. Before the kickoff, each ship is looking for a good position in front of the start line. The starting line is between an anchored referee ship and a buoy. No ship can pass the line before the starting signal. As such, there is sometimes a hassle. Here it will be proof whether the crew is well played and can control their ship quite well.
By the way, all ships failed the first regatta due to strong winds on the day before. 35 knots equal to 55 km an hour are a little bit too much for some of the over 100 participating boats. But today everything has calmed down again and three races in four classes were performed. The Wilson X was in the prime class for race yachts only. Because not all ships are equal in length and weight, each one receives an individual handicap. So the Plato, a 20 foot long Melgis, came on the first place. Just one point difference, the sister ship called Blonde elbowed the Wilson X on the third place. Pity. Oops, hold it. Well done, Murat. Let's refresh it a little bit. The award ceremony took place in a marquee next to the marina, followed by a captain's dinner, which ended over in up tempo music and smart dancing. The next OBDM will be held again in early October 2014. The Wilson Nicks and her crew are looking forward to the next season. See you again in a good shape. Bye bye.